Money. Yo. Money. Yo. Yeah, we got you. Yo. Uh, again, we got a page of on Holland next year. So I mean yo. that. That, yo, y'all yo. hear me? Yeah, yeah we, we can hear you. hear you. Can you hear us? Yeah, I'm breaking news like Scheffner. Poyer just signed with Miami. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah we saw that. Don't I actually crazy. like that. I actually like that pickup. Yeah. I was sad to see Brandon Jones walk, to be honest. Mm-hmm. I thought that he fit what uh uh Weaver does with the safeties. With okay. what, what, what what Baltimore did with like um fuck, what's playing his name? The three, uh, playing the three Stone safeties. And, uh Kyle Hamilton. Uh no, what 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 was the little short one? The fucking Stone. Thing? Stone uh, before him and from Seattle. What's his name? I'm spacing on oh, the name. Right now. Oh, you're talking about Earl Thomas. Earl Thomas. I, I always want to say Earl Little. Yeah, Earl Thomas. Uh, yeah. You know, like 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 the way they used him. Brandon yeah. Jones. His when he first came to Miami was that type of box safety. Sure. Perfect. You didn't fit Fangio's scheme at all. Mm-hmm. And it's like uh, I so I thought maybe he would have been great, but he signed it for a decent bit of money there in Denver. So did how, did, did they say how much we uh, were paying Poyer? No, uh, I didn't. I didn't. I haven't seen it yet. I just jumped on this, trying to get on the stream, just to yeah, to get it on this. But I'm um, not trying to backtrack it because I know we're on that Wilkins thing. Um, yeah, I just want to say, I know I agree 100. percent You don't pay Wilkins 27 million a year. That is just that's just asinine. I I don't even think I'd pay Chris Jones that money to be honest. If I'm good, being real. good for him. Yeah, I, I I don't. But my biggest problem is not the uh, not paying him. It was just that you've seen this coming. It's not like Every year he got better, and the chance when you did have to lock him up, you didn't do it. You waited, you put out an offer, still was a low ball offer. He told you what he was looking for, and then you still didn't put it out. And then now you want to circle back to the table, and this is where and this is where we're at right now with him just leaving scotch free. Um, and it's not about just the production; it's just that if we need to build an identity, we haven't had an identity in Miami for it's more than twenty years. Um, I would say. Uh, by what, like maybe since '98, maybe you don't think we have one now? Huh? You don't think we have? You don't think we have an identity now? Um, I mean, we're finesse, right? We're, but we're, we're we got to get away from that. We're talking about teams. That's what we are. As as a, but yeah, but as a Dolphin fan, we think that we have identity. But the league just looks at us and say, "Hey, you see, they're fucking up again. Oh, like they can never get it right, right?" Yeah, so, but true. I just mean a tone setter, um, a guy who is a, a team captain who guys like to play with, like he makes plays on the field and you should see this, not just in year four, year five, when he's out the door, but year three, you should have seen this coming and say, Hey, let's go ahead and lock this guy up instead of uh, waiting it to play out. And then you see what happens every year. I know ever since me and James ever started talking football, James, what I say about the, the, about the uh, salary cap Uh, in in the market, what that, that people are going to go in and set the market every time. Every time the market, every year the market goes up, and this is what D tackles are now. Like same thing with Robert Hunt, and I understand Christian Wilkins. The Christian Wilkins thing was a little bit more difficult to see. Like no one thought that was gonna go. Like you could, you could almost see that him getting twenty five million a year, but nobody thought fucking Robert Hunt's getting twenty one million a year. No one thought he was going to get. Yeah, yeah. no one thought a hundred million dollar contract coming for Robert Hunt. Lamar Jackson's mom's his agent. Yeah, yeah, for real, right? That's just straight. So at that, you had to lose, lose, but. We could have, same thing with Wilkins. I guarantee you last year, if we would have went to Robert Hunt and said, hey, we'll pay you $10 million a year before the season started, he would have took that deal for $10 million. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Maybe. I mean, yeah, who knows? I mean, I, I think you are onto something. I mean, and typically this is a strategy that we've seen a lot of teams try to use uh, as far as like getting ahead of it with paying players. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, like the players that we're talking about, I feel, that, and those are, those are reliable players. Like, I mean, like go- going into this season, I would have been hesitant to like sign to a, for, for example, uh, to an extension, but it's because I feel like there was more that we needed to see from him right. with like Christian Wilkins specifically. Like there wasn't really anything yeah. I think that we needed to see in order to make him one him. of the top paying guys. Yeah, him, but Robert uh, Hunt, we, yeah, Robert Hunt, I mean, Robert, but, Robert Hunt really, yeah. this was his best year. This, this was a year that got him that contract. He was yeah, one of the highest rated guards. But all to year. Jay's point, if he had already the season before, I feel like we felt pretty confident coming into the season. And Jay's not saying like sign him for 20 million yeah, before you're the season saying, started. Yeah, you're it's saying a whole nother contract we're yeah. talking about. Lock him in for 10. And then yeah, I mean, we'd feel really I think we feel really yeah. good having Robert Hunt right now for 10 million. <laughs> now, obviously, we're all in agreement. Yeah, 20 million is just, you know, he went and he 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 maxed out his value. So uh, uh yeah, and, uh, Austin and again, Jackson. like and I know that um 
I know Paul was uh, mentioned this earlier. It is yeah. a very deep guard interior offensive uh, draft, offensive line draft. So we can find another replacement. Uh, oh, for yeah. Robert Hunt, uh, for you, less. Said defense, you said defensive tackles. Defense tackles so. are good in this draft, too. Yeah. Um, but no, but we're talking about uh, JPP, Jackson Powers. Um, you know, yeah. he could play either either position. He could play center. Yeah, he could play guard. Perfect. So I feel yeah, like yeah. we can we can get a replacement. But this is my problem with the Dolphins. It's about building. Like, how does that look with you get the Robert Hunt, the center that you have now, and then you go out and you draft somebody in the second round as another guard, or you with the 21st pick, another guard, and you solidify your offensive line for the next four to five years. Like, that's oh, yeah. what we need to build. And 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 correct me if I'm wrong, did Robert Hunt not the day before like say like like wasn't it announced that he was coming back on a one year deal? No, they he put up a picture of the the practice facility and the stadium of Miami, and everyone yeah. basically saying he's saying goodbye. Uh, I I thought that I saw on Twitter or at least a like a ESPN thing saying that he was going to sign for a one year deal, and then the next day because and I remember saying something the, the, the some something someone about it, and then the next day yeah, it was the Carolina Panthers. My jaw dropped. He said, "Fuck all that." I dude, my I was like, <laughs> "What?" The? They couldn't even get a hold of him. Like, They're trying to like, call him. Like, you still coming in to sign that contract, bro? I was yeah. hoping nope. for like a fourteen mil, fifteen million a year. Then he comes up twenty million. Like, twenty, Jesus. yeah. But said, even e- even fourteen, fifteen, that's still too high. Nah, he's a good guard. He's a really he good guard. He yeah. he is a good guard, but you can find cheaper. And like I said, in this draft, I mean, if I'm Miami. I don't know what the plan is now because it changed a little bit, but I'd have been looking at might even double dipping uh, on guards or interior alignment. That's how good of a draft it is. No, it is. Like, like honestly, what I was thinking was uh, I was really looking tight ends. I like Dallin Holker from Colorado State. Uh, he's like a poor man's Brock Bowers. It's not. I mean, it, it's not an insult to him. Brock Bowers, honestly, God, if you watch the tape, especially his blocking film, this might be the best tight end we've at six three two thirty. Like. He's unbelievable. <laughs> and like you have to trade up to get him. But yeah. uh uh I like Spoken Dallin- as an Alabama fan that got their ass busted. Hey, hey, I like Dallin Holker. I like Ian Johnson out of Penn State. His blocking film isn't too good though. Yeah. Uh and then there's um one other uh goddamn Trayvon or something. Uh it's fucked up. I don't remember the name. But yeah. Texas, he plays for Texas. Another really good tight end. Oh, but, uh, Davion. You're talking about J- Davion? J- 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 Jatavion, something like that. Yeah. J- uh, yeah. Yeah, he's pretty yeah. good, um, especially with the ball in his hands. He fits our offense. Tavion Sanders. Yeah, so 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 there's some really good tight ends there, but us signing Johnu Smith kind of took us out of that market. We're, um, done. we're done with that. Yeah, yeah, we're done with that. So, I mean, it kind of opens up that, do we go corner? Do we, in the second round, are we going corner first or second Bro. round? Do tackle first or second round? What are we going? Are yeah, we going best I, available? I mean, we need a corner. It's, it's not enough for debate. Like we have to have a boundary corner. Yeah, I'm. Crazy. I'm gonna be honest with you. Every year the Miami Dolphins take a big swing, and I think the, our big swing is gonna be at that cornerback position for sure. Um, I mean, if you want to make it work with Jalen Ramsey, he's a great corner, great competitor, but you need somebody just as locked down on the other side because he gets beat. He can't be your primary guard and the number one receiver. He like does, you need. Yeah, his speed is a. Uh... Is is so, some of a hinder at times, and especially with the speed coming in the NFL. But you have, um, I think, like really four true lockdown corners in this draft. When you look at uh, lockdown corners, you said four in the draft, bro. Yeah. Like, that, we got four lockdown corners in the league right bro, now, bro. Michigan. <laughs> well, I'm I'm saying like 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 that's their potential, and I think they gotcha. can come in and really and really and really give you good football. You got uh, the dude from Michigan, forget his name, but he's I don't think gave up a touchdown all year. Um. Uh, what's his name? Cooper? No, what's his name from Iowa? God damn, I'm spacing on names tonight. The white boy. Yeah, yeah, D- D- Dijon. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cooper Dijon. So is Cooper. Yeah, he's fucking raw, and he's a return man. Uh, and then both Alabama boys, Taron Arnold and Kool Aid McKinstry. And don't you want to be a part of history? Co- I mean, <laughs> if, Co- if- Co- Kool Aid McKinstry honestly is falling down draft boards because he wasn't targeted for his last two years as a starter at Alabama, so there's like no tape. You sound like fucking people that were hating hey. on Daryl Revis. Like, where's the interceptions at? Hey, no, no, hey, no, 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 I, I, no. If, 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 if you're because of it, so Paul, if you're saying that there's a lot down corner in this draft, we need to draft one at 21 for sure. There's no other well, question yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, so I, I really think. Do, uh, hold up, real quick. So, do we not 
think that there's potential for Cam Smith after last year. We don't even want to see. We don't. Even, I mean, I guess I understand not wanting to wait and see, but he didn't even really get an opportunity, so, at least uh, from a play standpoint. Jay, if you want to go first, you can. Yeah, Jay, let, uh, let me know. Yeah, you- I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I understand, you know, uh, Vic Fangio stuck in his ways, and he's going to say he doesn't play rookies. But if yeah. the motherfucker can play, he would have been on the field. Now, does he deserve a shot? Yeah, he probably does, but it's going to have to compete for it. If he's that right. good, if Cam Smith is that good, now you have a great problem. Now you have re- three really good cornerbacks. And exactly. with Hader. And so I think that if you know someone's a lot down, and I haven't studied the, um, the cornerback position that much because I just know Chris Greer, what he likes, he's going to want another corner opposite of Jalen Ramsey. He just right. loves going after – he loves playing cornerbacks, and I agree. That is a premium um, position, and I felt like that's what he's going to pay for. If he's going to swing, he's going to swing at a cornerback and pay him that money. Yeah, after we get through all these free agent things, before we hop off here tonight, uh, we'll pull up the um, like uh, prospects okay. and see what that looks like. Um, but right here, I have – yeah, go ahead. No, what, what, what I was going to say real quick, if Cam Smith is actually as good as we thought he was going to be coming out – because, again, he was good at South Carolina. South Carolina yeah. Um, then that's a great, like you said, it's a great pro- problem because in the next year you're looking at, okay, if he's able to start, do we need then Jalen Ramsey or can we open up more cap space? Now, again, I bet I don't want to get rid of Jalen Ramsey. It's, it's just like, it's just like right now, it's just like right now you're looking at damn, right, you're right. damn Tyreek keeps getting in trouble. Like the guy's going to have more lawsuits than Trump next year during the season. <laughs> and it's a fucking yeah, problem, bro. Sure. <laughs> like, God damn, like it stop. Those babies. It's like, that, uh, bro, it, guaranteed he moolah, broke baby. someone's a lady's leg and then he just get in a physical altercation. Oh my like God. Last did, week. You see, did you see his messages? It's just like, sicko. bro. He's a sicko. It, it's, is he becoming too much of a distraction? No. No. Oh, no. Not even no. close. He can not, do 